Hey, my name is Jan Ketil Röth and I am a professor in Geographic Information System and Science at the Department of Geography at NTNU um, and I am responsible for the course Georg 6006 Fundamentals of GIS Part 1. And in this video I will tell you everything about the practical organizations of the course which you need to know about. So with Fundamentals of GIS Part 1, we really try to make a flexible online training course available for everyone. And I need to talk a little bit about what we mean by that. Then there is a lot of stuff I need to talk about related to Blackboard, which is the ear learning platform which we are using. I will talk a little bit about the tuition plan and how we organize the course in learning modules. And of course, using GIS, you need to have a lot of practical skills. So we have to do three exercises in this course. And these are being assessed, both your theoretical knowledge and your practical skills. So there are tests that we are doing and you may need help. And one way of gaining this help is to help each other or me or a teaching assist assistance can also be available through questions and answer forums. And then, if needed, we will also have online tutoring on demand that is set up for three of the weeks, week 38, 43 and 47. When I was a student in the late 1980s and early 1990s, GIS was really a niche technology. Only a very few people were using it. However, today, many years later, it's become an everyday technology. You have GIS on your smartphone and so many enterprises, private or public, educational and research, it's used everywhere. And therefore, it makes sense to make a flexible online training course available for so many people as possible. And for being available for most people, it's need to be based on a free software. So in this course, we use QGIS, which has developed through the air to become a very good GIS. You are able to do most things with it. And it's used, for instance, in Trondheim municipality and many other places. I've been promoting the course as a free course, no cost, and I apologize, this was not entirely true because you need to pay the student registration cost, which is, I believe, 600 Norwegian kroner. Hopefully affordable for all of you. And then also to be available, we need to do everything online. So in this course, there is no compulsory presence needed. You can be anywhere studying this course as long as you have a computer with QGIS installed and uh, internet connection. Then you can be anywhere and you can study whenever you want. Even for the exam, you don't have to come to Trondheim and campus at the new. You only need also for the exam an online connection. Uh, also important thing is that this is part one. So if this course is successful, we will have a part two and part three versions of the course as well. But now we start only with part one, which is a third of a normal course. Normal course at Antonu is 7.5 credits, and this course is only 2.5 credits. That's uh, less than 10% of what um, students take through a semester. So hopefully for even very busy people, this course should be able to carry through. So the e-learning platform that we are using is Blackboard and perhaps some of you know about this already, but many certainly not. So the entrants, maybe there are more of them, but at least from this URL, you should be able to come up with this page and you can log in at Blackboard here. So after successfully being logged into Blackboard, this is the start page you will see. 
And uh, here you see any announcement that I put out, like I set here a welcoming announcement for you. And there are some important uh, entries here, like general information about the course. If you have any questions about how the course is organized, please do not send me email about it, but use this forum here for questions and answer. So if you post your question here, the question and the answer is available for everyone who participate in the course. And it's, this is a much more efficient way of sharing information. And the information you also find in the tuition plan. Click on it and the PDF opens. And this has this color coding here, which is blue, then the suggested South tuition start. So for instance, uh, as soon as possible, you should install QGIS and in learning module zero, this is basically about giving you some resources on how to get started, how to install QGIS. Then you should be ready then to start with learning module one, which is about representation and uh, how GIS represent the environment around us. And then, um, you have about one month of doing this. So the semester is about three months and I allocated about one month for each of the learning modules. The first three weeks, I suggest you try to do it on your own. Ask for help on the question and answer forums if needed. Hopefully a peer students of you may help and or me or a teaching assistant may also be of assistance there. Then if needed, the week before the deadline, we will also arrange some online tuitions. So via Teams, Zoom or any of these tools. So there might be needed that you share your screen with us and show your problem and we will then try to help you. Then there are three of these same activities you try on your own and the exam is then 18th of December. Now, one important thing is that uh, to be able to take the exam, you need to collect points. And in the beginning, only learning model one is available for you, but uh, learning model one ends with two tests and you can get 10 points from this test. And if you are able to get seven or more, learning model two will be available for you. So there are some demands for progression. And in total, you need then 21 points from all these six tests to be able to take the exam. And there's a three hour exam, online exam, starting at three o'clock Norwegian time in the afternoon. The most important entry at Blackboard is where you, we have the educational material. Here we get the learning modules, such as the getting started learning module and the learning module about representation. And there are three of these learning models, if we don't count the first one, the zero one. So one about representation and next about map projection and coordinate system. So these two topics are really the essence of GIS. So really what you need to understand to do any kind of GIS work. You need to know how GIS is representing the world around us and you need to know where the X, Y and the Z coordinates in the map come from. So what QGs call the coordinate reference system. Then uh, the third model will be about protected nature in Norway and it will be maybe your first uh, meeting with some of the vector analytical processes you may do. And uh, when we design a part two and part three uh, version of the course, we may do a lot more about protected nature in Norway. But this will be a little teaser than about what you can achieve using GIS. Then in the beginning now, only the learning model zero and learning model one is available for you. And learning model two will be available if you have achieved seven points or more from learning model one. 
So you need to collect points to have a progression in the course. Um, and from learning model two, you can collect up to 10 more points. And if you have 14 points or more out of 20 possible, you will have access also to learning model three. But in the start, this is only what is available for you. Learning model zero to get you started and learning model one about representation. So let us unpack some of the content found at Blackboard. When starting Blackboard, you have the start page and mostly you will be dealing with this tab here about the educational material. This is where we have located the learning modules. And in the beginning, you only have access to learning model zero and learning model one. Within learning model one, you have a theory section and you have a practical section and you have a test area section. So we need to build skills in using GIS. So I've written out an exercise for you to follow. So this is very much in a step by step kind of instruction, but not so much text because I made a lot of instructions video. So you will notice that from a reference here with a hyper text, watch this video if you do not know the details on how to carry out a particular task related to one of the steps here. So by clicking on this, you will be opening this particular video uh, from my YouTube channel. So these are maybe two, three, four minutes long instructions video. You also have a folder here for data and the QGIS project. And by clicking here, this automatically start a download of the data package you need for the exercises. So anytime you go into here, you will be downloading the data again. So this will start automatically. And if not, you should just click on file here. And, and normally, the data you download end up in your download folder. And this is actually a quite amount of data, so it may take some time, but we see here that this is now busy downloading the data. And eventually it uh, appears here, a zipped data file, which you need to unpack and to be able to start going. There it's finished. So have a look at it again. So this is the data you need to have. So unpack it to a folder where you want to have your data and get started. There is also a theory section and there is some readings which you should do to improve your understanding of what you are doing. And here I have also, just like the instructions videos, I have also lecture videos. These are maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes long, which uh, in addition to reading, help you hopefully to understand the concept and the processes and everything which you need to know to understand what you are doing, doing the exercises. I also added the slides, which comes with the presentation, so you can watch them while you watch the videos. So there are three videos from uh, learning model one, and we also have three slides for this. And finally, there is a test area. So there is uh, two tests for this, and uh, you shouldn't start this before you know the answer of it. From the exercise text, I may go back to there. There are several of these blocks in the exercise text where you need to stop up while doing the exercises and find the answer to these questions being posed here. And then note down all the questions for these. Uh, there are some 20, 30 questions, and uh, you are then in the test area here. The practice test here, you will answer five questions randomly drawn for the pool of 20, 30 questions being posed in the exercise text. And then the theory part, these are also some 20, 30 questions, which is related to the reading you have done and the videos which you've been watching in the theory part here. You can get uh, five points from each of these um, tests, so 10 in total, and you need seven points to get the learning model one approved. 
And for each of the tests, you have three trials. And the trial, which gives you the highest points, you, this will be the valid one. So if you, the first time you do the test, you get five points. Even if you try again doing the test and you only got two points, it is the five points that you already have gained that will be the one you have. So don't worry, just take the test three times to test yourself and to do a self-assessment if you have understand everything. So it shouldn't be too hard if you have understood what you have been doing and what you have been reading. So don't worry too much. So we are coming to an end of this boring practical lecture. I have here open QGIS and many students enjoy working with GIS and hopefully this also will become a very joyful experience for you. So I wish you all the best of luck with GIS and have fun with QGIS.